Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I'm going to play a little bit with uh, external CUT displays. And the CUT that is an uh, interface usually on the back of the, of the transceiver and you connect then it to the computer or another external device. And uh, well, the displays of these older transceivers are kind of small. I have here an uh, Yaesu FT897. And the display is kind of reasonable, but when you get older, you need glasses, and then it is harder to see. And also, they have sometimes a little bit of a problem that you get lines in the display when they get older. Or if you have the QRP version of that, <coughs> here it's the 817. And the 818 is more or less the same. The display is even smaller. Well, there are solutions for that, and that's an external cut display. And I have one, I found one. There are several ones. Uh, they really start at 200 euros, which I thought was a bit much for the radio, but they look amazing. And then now, I think it is, I found it now in the groups, in the Yezu groups, about for a month now, and uh, they are around 130, and they also look amazing. But I have here one for around $50, and I bought it when it was like 53 euros, and I think, because the euro is not that strong these days, I think it's now around 60 which is, of course, a lot less than, uh, than the 130 or the 200. But, of course, it looks also a little bit less. But how good is it, actually? Let's have a look. Well, of course, with the modern radios, that is not a real problem. This one is a huge uh, LCD uh, display. And sometimes you even have an option to connect to an external display. Well, this, of course, works perfect without my glasses even. <laughs> but we need a solution for the older ones. Oh, here we see the size of a modern one. It is like uh, four and a half inches or 10, 11 centimeters. And then if we look at this one, this is like two inches, centimeter or five. But if we look at the other one, now you see here the 817. And that is even less than two inches. And I think it's not even an inch high or just an inch high. So then it becomes really small. It arrived. It is here in this box. I do complain when uh, when it is not shipped properly, when they just put it in a garbage bag. This one looks good. So I very rarely I do an unboxing, but I will do it now just to show you that it is properly packed. So here it is in the box. It has already the cat cable, which is great. And it is also black, and I like that even better, because sometimes you see they provide this with a white cable, and the radio is just black, it just looks better. So that is one plus already. Then we have the display itself. Uh, okay, let's just open it. Ooh, looks quite big. And this is the display. <laughs> it is big, if you compare it. And it is powered also through the cat cable. Let me see how many inches is this. Okay, quick measure, about two inches high and three inches wide. Okay, well, I found a little manual uh, because uh, there is a connection manual, but there is no manual for all the buttons. I found that, I asked the seller and uh, they are all numbered. And uh, I combined it into one manual, and I will put that down for downloads. A little closer look. It looks properly. It has protection. Uh, a screw here for the contrast, I believe. A reset buttons. Up and down, second function. So maybe we can set things. There is a debug port that is not connected. And I think there is even a serial port that is also not connected. It's debugging purpose. Here we have two microphone, two radio, and a cut. And why does it not only have the cut? These connections look proper. Well, if you're already using your 
that connection for to an automatic antenna tuner or some other accessory. Then there is also a cut on the microphone. And then you connect this with the straight cable to your transceiver and you put the microphone in the display. So then you can use two cut connections at the same time on your radio. Do keep in mind that if you use the cut on the microphone, well, it's great, it's possible, but you will lose your up and down button because that is on the same wiring as your cut RXD and TXD. But that is just a little change money yeah, because you have a second connection. So what we need to do, well, it's pretty simple. I use the cut interface, but we can also try the microphone. Of course, you cannot plug in and plug out on the cut when the device is switched on. Uh, you can blow your port and well this is the most simple cut cable to here that's it one cable and they even explain for the 897 uh, you need to set the bound rate to 4800 and then you need to select cut on the menu 20 maybe that is a selection between accessory or cut uh, i need to see if you want to do it through the microphone because your port is in used by an ATU or another accessory, you can do it also from the microphone. Of course, we also switch off the radio first, connect a little, just a network cable, as long as it's straight to the display and put the microphone in the display. Again, no power cable is needed. It will be powered through the microphone port or through the cut in the back. And you also need to set again the baud rate of the cat connection. And you need 59. It's probably the menu where it says if you want to use your up down buttons or the cut interface. And then we have an explanation of the board, the power switch, the cat port, and what the buttons should do. I have no clue uh, what you can do because there is a confirm and a set button and a plus and a minus. So let's. Uh, play a bit it explains the button but it doesn't explain why you would need that so let's uh, have a look okay let's try that well I put it here so it is hard to see which plug it is but I made a picture and I know there is this earth connection is a screw in the middle and if I go to the left then it's the first one is the cut and then with this uh, little notch it's this on the top so let's switch it off, put my black cable, try to put the notch up and see if I can do it without screwing it down because I have a custom made. Okay, I lose the screw a bit so I can tilt it a little bit more. So hopefully I can reach it now. Okay, I was able to, uh, to put it in. I tilted it back because now it is stuck in, I have more space. I think the angle is still good. Cable is here, let's go through the menus. Okay, let's switch it on. I have the device not connected yet because I want to check first the menu settings. Uh, long push probably here. And then we need to go to menu 20. So let's have a look. Uh, small one menu 20 what does that say cut oh here is the selection cut linear or tuner well we keep it in cut that's okay then we have the speed 19 4800 which is good we can change it higher but the display is as it should okay so that's already good. So uh, you change with the button here, with the big dial for the antenna tuner, for the linear or for the cat. Of course, we use the cut. Then you switch to the next menu and then it's just stored. Long push here and it's okay. And we switch it off, connect the display. We have the cut cable here, very careful. Where is the notch? should be like this okay switch on the radio here it is cool yes wow
what a difference. I switch off the light, we can see here communicating the cut. So it is just serial data that it is displaying here on the display. So this usually will uh, be displayed on your computer with a M Radio Deluxe or another program that can read the cut. And uh, they decided to write a program to display it on the display like this. Um, it's, yeah, the voltage is not correct that it's displaying. I don't know if that is the software inside here or that the cut is just not transmitting the correct value. Maybe we can see that later if we connect it to the computer. Well, if I put it here on the radio, clearly it is a lot, lot bigger. Does it respond fast? Yeah, pretty, pretty fast, I must say. Oh, that is pretty cool. <laughs> it is huge, huge, huge. I like it. Uh, but I didn't find too much uh, what you can do. You can switch it to, to a display that you can see a little bit more. Let me put it on the desk. And the set and the plus and a minus I, I have not found. Also not by putting in combinations or a long push. So uh, I think it is just two screens. So what I found here, you have your second function, that is this. And well, you see more or less the same here. The frequency is always a little bit smaller, but you have your power modulation, ALC and SWR all at the same time during transmitting. Uh, I don't have my microphone because I'm on receive only antenna. And yeah, why the voltage is not correct. That. Uh, I have heard more reports about this. In the end, it's not that important. It is for me. It's most important that I can read the display uh, properly. Um, let's see what it does on the 818 or 7. Okay, let me just see if the menu more or less works the same here. Uh, long push. Then we can go through the colors. Uh, <laughs> because of the antenna, <laughs> I don't see this knob here. Um, here we go to the menu, CW14. So let's write that down for the manual. On the 817, and probably it's the same on the 818, I could not find the setting for the, for the cut or the tuner. So I don't know how it decides. Um, let me just plug this in the right way, hopefully. Okay. And then let's see what it does. Or it's in the extended menu and I need to see how I switch it on. But maybe it works. It does not, or have I? No, so I probably need to have a look. Okay, the display works very nice on my uh, 897, so it probably will also work on the 857 because they are more or less the same. And a little bit of different housing, but that's it. The 817 I have here, I was not able to get it working, and I could not find the option where you can say that the cut board needs to be an ATU or a cut for communication or for the linear. That option I couldn't find. I tried to connect it through the microphone in the front. That also did not work because I also could not find the setting there for the microphone to say if you want to have down buttons or you want to cut in the front. So yeah, that was a, a pity. So I'm not sure uh, if there is no power in the back at the connection. I, I did measure voltage, but I didn't measure in circuit. So maybe it completely drops because it's a low power device. It runs on batteries. So it's probably not made to, to draw real power from that cut port. That could be one of the reasons it's not working. Or if you know what I did wrong, <laughs> let me know. Okay, let's try to connect it to the front. Long push. Menu 59, I think. 59. It should be on normal. And then I have remote something and I have got. I keep 
I choose that card. Okay, switch it off. Okay, I have a, just a normal straight through network cable. I just took it from my router. I put it in the connection to radio. Well, that makes sense. To radio and switch it on. It does start. And it displays. That is also a great option if you can't reach to the back. Okay, working great on my uh, 897. I put it there with the double sided. And wow. So here I put it. Look at that. Well, in real life it looks a lot better. Somehow the, the light doesn't project that good on the camera, but it is yeah, really bright and high contrast. So that works very nice on the 897 and that's why also on the 857. And uh, it's a pity we didn't get it working on the 817 and probably on the 818 or that one has more menu options. And then you can select again on the cut connection in the back if it needs to be a linear or an ATU. And the same for the connection, the microphone connection. That setting I could also not find. So you can set about right, except for uh, those things. And that could be because it's a low power device and uh, the power that comes out of the plug is uh, very low. So then in the end, it maybe doesn't matter. So maybe if we can external feed the power to the device, maybe it will work or I'm just doing something completely wrong, but unconfirmed working on the 817818. Thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.